Hey guys, it's Karen. Welcome back. I'm so glad to have you back. You are truly my friends and um, I just have the best subscribers and I just want to tell you all thank you so, so much. If any of you are new, uh, my name is Karen and um, I share um, videos on uh, just aging gracefully, anti-aging, living a healthy lifestyle. I also like to share fashion and, um, you know, just a little bit of everything, uh, things that work for me and, um, you know, those kind of things. And I do have a um, obsession with luxury handbags, but um, I don't go overboard with that. I um, usually just like when it's a birthday or something. A lot of times I sell one, you know, um, I'm not like, um, I, I don't buy if I don't have the money. And, um, like I said, it, you know, we all have, um, items that make us happy. And I don't think anybody should have to apologize for something they buy. If it makes them happy, it's their money. Um, but today I was going to, um, so yeah, like I said, that's my channel and um, I'm, you know, um, I'll, be, I'll be 68 next month and I would love to connect um, with anybody, uh, you know, so um, it helps me out if you subscribe and, um, you know, and so today um, I was going to um, share um, going to a uh, secondhand um, store um kind of a flea market i like to go there um, now and then and see if anything new is popping up and so yesterday i went and i took a video of um tried to do it <laughs> and um and i i'll show you at the end what all i bought and i also want to show you um i've been meaning to do this um in my kitchen i wanted to um you know, I'm not sure if I'll take the cupboard doors off, but I want to make room for some of my collectibles. If any of you have watched me, I'm into farmhouse decor. Um, I love farmhouse, I love shiplap, I love antiques, and I love uh, vintage finds. And, uh, and so I was thinking about, you know, uh, making my cupboards close to my refrigerator, um, like opened and, um, I haven't took the doors off yet, but I will bring you over there and show you what I have done. Uh, cause my daughter, um, I actually have two daughters that live in Nebraska and, um, and, uh, that makes it kind of hard cause, um, my one daughter has two, you know, my two grandkids, um, and so I don't get to see them so often, but she's so good about sending me pictures and um, drawings and stuff that they have made. And it just warms my heart. And uh, then my other daughter in Nebraska, she's a dog mom. She's my oldest girl and she's a dog mom. And, um, and then my daughter that lives here, uh, she, uh, she has one boy, um, Gavin, and he is, he just turned 14. I can't believe it. He turned 14 in May. And um, I, I mean, it just, I don't know where time goes, I tell you. And uh, she's an RN. She works at the Army Base Hospital here. And um, so I'm just um, very proud of them. And um, my two daughters, um, not my oldest daughter, but my two daughters, uh, they both struggle with Crohn's disease. And uh, the, the one that lives in Nebraska, uh, she's a school teacher and well, now she's gonna do summer school too, teach summer school, but uh, she texted me um, about a month ago, I wanna say, and asked me what I do for my, um, or what I did when I got migraine headaches. Um, I used to um, suffer with them. Um, they pretty well went away about 10 years ago, I want to say. And um, my heart goes out to anybody uh, that has them. Uh, they, nobody knows what a headache is unless you have a migraine. And um, I remember when you feel one coming on, um, I remember, you know, cause I was working um, an, an eight to five job, five days a week. And 
I had to drive about 30 miles to work. And I remember always when I felt one coming on, I would have to uh, bring a Ziploc bag with me in the car because I was pretty well sure if um, by the end of the day when I got off work, um, I was gonna have to throw up. I mean, and um, just debilitating. And I remember uh, getting home and the first thing I did was just go to bed. That, you just want no noise, dark room, you know, and just pray that it's gonna go away so I could get to work the next day because I had a job that was not um, uh, kind about being somebody that called in because my job was somebody, was something that only I could do. Um, I was doing the um, uh, bookkeeping and stuff. And uh, my manager, although we got along, uh, she did not suffer with migraines. And I don't think people that don't have them, they don't know what it really is. And, uh, and I just remember, you know, if I didn't show up, she would have to do my work plus her work. And so I just basically forced myself to get to work when I did have them. And uh, it, I, I don't know. It's just, um, you know, I'm just, um, you know, I just pray to God. I tell you, he is so good. He, God is like my best friend. I don't know what I'd do without him. Uh, I just pray to him and I just put things in his hand. I don't worry anymore. I don't, um, I don't dwell on things and let it bother me. You know, if something is, don't wait any longer. Just sit down, take your Bible, read it, talk to him. He's right there. He's, even though you don't see him, I guarantee he's right there. He's there. 24 hours a day, seven days a week, he, he's there. And you talk to him. If something's bothering me or if something is hurting me, um, I, I talk to him, I tell him, um, you know, because I, I've been scorned by some people here and for no reason at all, um, you know, I, I can't share my story. You know, they listen to one story, but you know, it's just, um, you know, you, you don't realize you know, and the more you spend time with him, I guarantee the more you spend time with him, the more you want to be with him. Uh, you know, he is so good. He is so good. And so, yeah, going back to my daughter, sorry, I kind of got off track there, but I could go on and on about him. <laughs> okay, so she called me and she, she wanted to know what I did for my migraines, you know, and because she, she was starting to get them, you know, um, teaching school. She, um, you know, she struggles with Crohn's and um, I told her, you know, it was so long ago that, you know, at that time they don't have the medication they do now. And also, you know, sometimes when I feel one coming on, you know, a, a seven up or a ginger ale kind of settles your stomach. Um, but, um, anyway, she told me, it just broke my heart, but she told me at school, you know, that she threw up in front of the, the children and, um, I just, you know, she said she had to go home and, um, and so anyway, you know, after that happened, you know, I just prayed and prayed. Um, I just want anybody to know if you're struggling, like nothing's worse. Like I wish I could take their um, Crohn's. I, I seriously do. A parent that has a sick child is, um, it's just hard to explain. It just, you, you just feel for them and it's hard. And um, if it wasn't for my good Lord and taking everything to him every day in prayer and asking him to deliver them uh, by his stripes, you know, that they will be healed, you know, um, you know, it's, um, it's such a gift, and my other daughter that lives here, um, you know, she's very busy, uh, on our end, it's very stressful, and, you know, I just pray for her, I just pray, uh, she gets infusions, um, every two weeks about, and, uh, has to go in and get them, and, um, you know, it's, 
it's hard. It's really hard. And so um, I just uh, pray for them and it just gives me peace. And I know God has, has his loving wings around them and he's going to take care of them. I know he will. But um, I may basically want to talk to anybody that is having, um, you know, somebody, um, a child or, um, you know, that's sick and struggling with some illness. Please, please just take it to the Lord in prayer. You know, anytime your heart feels heavy or anything, please just take it to the Lord in prayer. And I guarantee you, you'll have a peace. And um, so I... Um, basically um, want to show you um, my cupboard and um, my one daughter that I told you about that's a teacher um, this was like right before Mother's Day um, I um, with my farmhouse decor we were texting and um, both her and my older daughter my older daughter daughter loves farmhouse too and um, I just wish we could be closer we'd have so much fun you know anybody that has their kids by them you don't know how lucky you are um, I'm, I'm so thankful I have my youngest one here and um, you know but um, she um, she did a cupboard like that in her kitchen. Um, she has real pretty cupboards, so mine are still, you know, one of these days, you know, hopefully I'll get some new ones. But, um, uh, you know, I was uh, texting them a picture. Um, there's this one gal I follow on Instagram, and she um, uh, does uh, a lot of decor in her home. She... Um, farmhouse decor and she's one of those that can just take a a power saw and build something and I, I'm not that good <laughs> I can maybe paint and stuff but that's about it so uh, anyway um, she did this one um, cute little coffee bar um, I'll insert a picture of it if I can because um, she put a long uh, like a pine board right up above her hutch, you know, she had like a little dresser hutch that she used for a coffee bar. And then she, um, you know, she's very much into uh, collecting antiques also. And she had a slug of those um, ironstone mugs, you know, that they used to use in the cafeterias years ago. And they're kind of hard to find now and um, I do have three but you know they're kind of hard to find now and uh, I bet she had I don't know how many um, gosh oh, I, probably 15 I don't know I'll answer the picture but and I I, um, I sent that picture you know as we were talking and I said oh my gosh I just love this you know, I would love to do something like that. And uh, my one daughter that's a school teacher and has two, you know, my two grandkids, she goes, oh, we'll, we'll make you them cups. You know, we'll go to the Dollar Tree. And um, my kids, they love getting messy and paint and um, and we'll make them for you. And oh my God, she made me, I don't know how many it was. I think nine of them. And it just warmed my heart. And and then she, um, after they were all dried, you know, the kids got done painting them. Then she, um, she wrote a little Bible verse inside along the rim. So it's, it's such a great memory. And, um, so I want to show that to you guys. So anyway, you know, if you know of anybody that struggles with Crohn's, uh, would you let me know? Because, you know, I'd like to connect and maybe I can find out what they do or something I can tell my daughters. Okay, well, let's go into the kitchen, guys. All right, guys, um, so this is what I was talking about. Um, I just had to clear everything out of these cupboards and I've been wanting to uh, just make uh, some room for my collectibles. And uh, so I'm just gonna kinda, that's at the very top shelf there. All right, and then this, oh my gosh, I just have the best 
daughters and son. Uh, my dog, <laughs> my dog, my oldest daughter, that's a dog mom, she sent me this and had it made. It's like books and she wrote down every, had um, each one of my kids' names on the books. So I'm always going to cherish that. So I wanted to make sure I have this in the cupboard. Um, these two mugs on top of it, that's those ironstone mugs. All right, and that's just an old scale. And I got my uh, key rig cups all in this wire container that I found at Target. It's, um, I think it's the Magnolia brand. Okay, and then here are those mugs that my daughter, um, the grandchildren, they painted them. And then she wrote a Bible verse. Um, around the rim. Here, let me set it down so you can see. Cling to what is good, Romans 12, 9. And I'll get another one down. Okay, this one, this one says, Nebraska loves you. And this one, Rise up, take courage, and do it. Ezra 10, 4. So I'm just, I'm not going to get them all down, make the video too long, but I just want to show you. Um, this says, Abide in me and I in you. John 1, verse 15. So anyway, I just had to show that to you as well as... Um, my grandson, she sent this. It's an owl. Uh, I thought that was so cute. So I think I'll frame that. And, uh, let me show you now what all I did buy. I was just going to show you what I bought. Um, this is a Better Homes cookbook. Um, I believe it had, maybe they took the prices off. Yeah, they did. Okay, I bought two of them. And um, one was $8 and the other one was uh, $24.95. I believe it, that one was $24.95. And I just, uh, I love this little wicker basket, and I couldn't believe the price, just $2. And then I bought this vintage um, solitaire game. 
And um, I'm gonna give that to my grandson that lives here, and that was $15. And then these are those tarts that you burn and she makes these and oh my gosh, they smell so good and she makes so many different um, different um, scents. And this one is called Mom's Kitchen. And then I found this little enamel bowl. I thought it'd be cute with just a full full plant in it. Um, that was, um, ugh. $9.99. Okay, and then I love old scales. And I found this one. And that one was $31.50. Um, there was an old dresser also that I've been looking for an old dresser to put the TV on top of. And I'll insert a picture of that. So I really appreciate you spending time with me today. It means everything. I'm sorry that this video got a little bit longer than what I wanted it to get. Um, I noticed that when I was um, at the taping, um, I accidentally hit slow motion on my camera and um, that made it longer. And um, so, like I said, I didn't mean to do that. But uh, anyway, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I appreciate you so much. Um, and uh, just remember that you're enough and um, love you guys.